Hi everybody, so today we are going to be doing another Once Upon a Point video, but it's a little bit different. You guys have already heard two videos on my time at SAB and you really enjoyed it. But I found some albums, some photo albums and some scrapbooks of my time at SAB at my parents' house. And today's Once Upon a Point, I'm gonna take you through it. So you kind of have the visual to those other two videos, which I'll link in a card and below for you. So I'm gonna take you through these albums because they're quite interesting, quite funny, and I hope you will enjoy it. And it will kind of give you, again, a visual of those SAB videos that we've already done. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is the first year. We're not gonna spend too long, I don't wanna make this video forever, but this is the first year. Um, I hope there's not a glare. Mom did this for me. Here is my acceptance letter for SAB. I was number 46. Um, just some programs of the summer course that year, but she did keep my acceptance letter. Um, here are some summer course pictures. The one in here, where is she? That's Leah O'Connor. She's in PNV now. I don't know. Anyway, um, SAB schedule. There's Leah. Um, just, you know, SAB summer, really how much of a baby I was, uh, round face, cheeked. Um, but at the time that I went to the SAB summer course, there were only six levels. I think there are seven now. Um, and feel free to pause if you want to look at any of these in closer detail. Here is um, where I stayed for that summer. We stayed with friends um, and the baby Katie. <laughs> Um, just pictures in New York. There's the Rose Building. It's still there. That's where SAB is. Friends visiting Alexandra Ancinelli, who was a principal dancer at the time. Then she went to Royal. Um, she came and did a talk with us, and everybody said how much we looked alike. So that was fun. Um, just, you know, and then this is the apartment. This was my apartment that my mom and I got that I had the whole time I was with City Ballet. Um, and the, the furniture changed around over the years, but the apartment stayed the same. That was my view right here. This was our view. Um, there's State Theater, sorry, Coke Theater, Met, um, where the, the symphony plays, and that's SAB. Um, so it was an amazing, amazing apartment. Um, I guess she saved this because that's me oh, on one of these brochures. Another brochure. We just saved a bunch of stuff. Here's my class photo from my first year, C2, 2004-2005. Again, you've heard me talk about these, this in my other videos. Um, who's in here that you would know? That's Mary Elizabeth Sell. She's still with the company. Janelle Manzi, she's still with the company. I think that's anybody, anybody you would know. Um still in the company. We also, here's Halloween. First year was My Fair Lady. There I am right there. My little Eliza Doolittle costume. You always dress up every year at SAB. That's Riley. Most of you know Riley, my dearest friend in the world. She would come up and visit with her mom. Every Thanksgiving was kind of our thing. So this is just a bunch of pictures of us at Thanksgiving. Literally as babies, my dad with Riley. Just, you know, family, family photos. More Thanksgiving more Thanksgiving. One of the things that you get to do as a student at SAB is pose at City Ballet's Nutcracker. So um, it was awesome because my parents were in town and Riley was in town and so we, I was the snowflake in the lobby that year. I was not in the company yet, but that's, see, dear snowflake, thank you, blah, 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 what to do. Um, there's a bigger picture. Um, well, you know, and then the, the playbill. Let's see who was Sugar Plum that night. Maria, Maria Kurowski, Charles, Chuck, and Sofian, who's in San Francisco. Wow, this was November 26, 2004. Wow, so that's why we save it. Thanks, Mom. Um, here's when we did Nutcracker. The SAB kids did Nutcracker in Stamford, Connecticut. And I guess this is, yeah, these are photos on the train. That's Mary Liz again. She's in the company. Um... And we all got to do different roles. There I am with Mary Liz. That's Devin Alberta. He's also in the company. Go follow his Instagram. He takes gorgeous photos. Um, just, you know, a bunch of pictures. There's Alexandra again. Um, check this out. That's Robbie. Is this getting in the camera? Yeah. That's Robbie Fairchild. <laughs> a baby, baby, baby Robbie Fairchild. Um, Devin again. Jan Burkard Catlin, who's with Carolina Ballet. Um, more family pics at... Nutcracker, um, 
This is, oh, this was the announcement for workshop. This is first year's workshop. Again, Riley coming on up with my dad and mom and everybody. Oh, here's the workshop program. Um, let's see. There, I was two different casts of things, so that was not my cast of this. I think this night I was, yes, I was second movement, me and Devin, for Western, Western Symphony. Again, you can hear all about all of these on the, uh, the, the talkie videos, once upon a point. Here we are in between, me and Riley, Devin, um, mom being mom, just more family photos. Um, this was gala night, I believe. Yeah, performance benefit, there's always a gala. Mary Liz again, Leah, who's at PNB, Masahiro, he was incredible. I think he's back in Japan now. Um, Olga, if any of you know Olga, legendary teacher, she's still around, amazing. Um, and Gretchen Smith, she's also in the core. Oh, and here, Riley got this for me, thanks Ry, is Brizhnikov's signature. He was there that night, so she got, she got Brizhnikov's signature. But yeah, same program. Um, so I will forever have Brizhnikov's signature. Um, fan mail, here we are in a, in the, um, Newsletter, myself and Daniel Baker, who was one of my other partners. Here's when I was in Teen Vogue. I was in Teen Vogue um, for that night. What is happening here? I don't know what's happening there, but that's that's me and Daniel. Um, then I was also, I don't think I mentioned this in the Once Upon a Point, we as students got to be in Susan Stroman's double feature as kind of core people with the company. Uh, am I in here? Yes. Catherine Morgan, right there. Students in the School of American Ballet appearing in this production. Then we have, I'm assuming this is more summer course stuff. Yeah, that's me. This is an amazing picture. Um, we did Western for our workshop, but that's Michael J. Fox. He was very involved, and I got to hold his arm. So how cool is that with Michael J. Fox? That's Jan again. Jan Burkhardt catlin with Carolina Ballet. Gretchen Smith with New York City Ballet. Maida, I'm not sure where she's dancing. I think she was with Miami for a while. I'm not sure where she is now. This was, I think I mentioned it again in that Once Upon a Point, Benjamin Millepier's 28 Variations on a Theme by Paganini. This is Nick Hagelin. He was my partner. You might have seen him recently, I think on The Voice. I think he was on The Voice. Um, he was my partner. So that was cool. Ben's piece, I loved this ballet. Um, love that. What's happening here? Not sure what's happening there, but <laughs> this was just so beautiful. And that, like I said, I think in that last video, there were potatoes and solos and trios and just um, different different sections. And I was the gold girl. And yeah, there's Nick. And I had about three potatoes, two solos. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot. I like this one. This is my favorite picture. I think. Got to work in a French twist there. Then the second ballet I did that night, which I think I also mentioned, was Tribute, and it was choreographed by Christopher Dambois, who is Jacques Dambois's son. I was second cast for this principal. This is Sean Orza. He is now with San Francisco Ballet. He is the younger brother of Seth Orza, who was one of my main partners at City Ballet. So that was fun. They look basically alike. Um, and I was the pas de deux girl in this. We, I did a pas de trois and a pas de deux, as you'll see in a minute. Um, and it was a tribute to Balanchine, which is why we're in, you know, black and white. There's Sean, Sean Orza. Um, be just beautiful, simple ballet. Um, this pot of though was like six minutes. It was like forever. Um, not, not, I'm not happy with the shoe situation going on here. What's happening here? Turn your leg out. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm baby faced for sure. Um, that's a nice picture. That right there, if you can tell her back, that's Emily Adams. She's now principal with Ballet West. Um, and Michael Breeden, who was with, and I think he was with Miami. Now he's doing the Conversations on Dance podcast that's like blown up. Michael Breeden, check it out. Great, great podcast series. Um, I like that picture. Then we finally get to Western Symphony. Um, I was second movement principal, only girl in the whole ballet in pink tights, so that was nice. <laughs> and that's Devin, Devin Alberta. Um, I'm going to link his Instagram for you in the box below. Go check out his Instagram. It's amazing. Backstage photos of City Ballet. 
So here's Western, and you're kind of the dream saloon girl. Everybody's a saloon girl, but you're the dream girl, apparently. Shoulder down, please. Um, oh, that's cute. Somebody did not understand stage makeup at this point, so please ignore that. Woo, cutesy. It was fun. It was a fun ballet, and there's, these costumes are so great. Ooh, point the toe. Um, I mean, you can just tell we look very student at this point. Little things, very student. Um, that's in the middle of Italian fuete. Trying to be cute. Um, shoulder down again. <laughs> it's just a fun, fun ballet. So high energy. Um, I had a ball doing it. Um, here's where you're like fading away as the dream girl. So that is the first year at SAB. This, I'm not sure what this is. This was, oh, this is the SAB magazine. I think they used to do a magazine. I don't know if they still do it anymore. I'm assuming I'm in here somewhere. Ooh, that's a baby Tyler Engel. Look at that. Tyler Engel, who I danced Sleeping Beauty on here on YouTube with, if you have seen those videos. Look how Lily is. Megan Mann, she's in the company. Wow, this is this is a gold mine in here. That's Beatrice Sticks Brunel. She is now a soloist, maybe a first soloist with the Royal Ballet. Baby there. Wow. Wow. I think I'm in I don't know if I'm in here. Anyway. Oh, that's Sarah Mearns. Look at a young Sarah Mearns. And Gina and Tyler. Oh my goodness. That's a baby Sarah Mearns. And I don't know. I'm assuming I'm in here somewhere, but oh well. At least you got to see other people <laughs> other than me. Okay, let's move on to year two. So the second year, which again I talk about in part two of the SAB um, Once Upon a Point. This was a student choreography workshop. This is year two. Getting a little bit older, a little more precise now. Um, and this is where students choreographed and, on their fellow students. So I was in two pieces. Um, one was by Matt Renko, who is now a soloist with PNB, and one was by Lucy Van Cleef. I'm not sure if she's still dancing anymore, but those were the choreographers. This is Matt's piece. Um, that's Daniel Baker. He is now a Twyla Tharp dancer. Um, see, we just look a little more refined. So, and then this in the pink is Lucy's piece. That's David Protus, who was, who was with City Ballet with me. Now he's in Carousel on Broadway. Where is he? That's Daniel again. There's David. There's David. Um, yeah, it was fun. It's because it's like an in-studio thing, and you get to perform. Oh, here we go. Here's year two at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with Riley and her mom and my mom and my father and us being cute at the Rockettes. Um, this was right here. I don't know if you remember from that video. I sprained my ankle the second year at SAB. That's me in a boot. <laughs> I was not dancing at this point. A lot of like fake happy smiles, but we went to see City Ballet. So this is also year two. This was some photo shoot they did. I can't remember what this was for. That's me in class at SAB. I actually don't look that much older now, which is sad. Um, there's Erica Pereira, soloist, New York City Ballet. That's me. Get that pause there a little bit higher. Um, my shoes are breaking really low. That's interesting. Anyway, um, and so they just came and took photographs and um, did something with them. Again, I'm not entirely sure what they were used for. That's that same picture, but promotional stuff. This is Jerome Tisserand, who is now a principal with PNB, and myself. Um, this was promotional, but this was rehearsing Christopher Wielden's Send a Ballet second year. I think I talked about that. Yep, here we go. Send a Ballet. We got to do it with the company. There's myself and Jerome. There should be a J there. That's a typo. David, who else is in here? Sean Orza, there's Seth's brother. I think Eric is in here. Yep, Leah's in here. Justin Peck's in here. Um, lots of names you guys should know. Just some reviews. Another review. Um, here is my uh, second picture, second year picture, D, 2005-2006. That's myself. There's Leah with p &B. Who else would you know? I don't think you'd know anybody else, actually. Anyway, um, workshop. This is announcing workshop again. Family pictures. This is 
Riley coming up. Riley came up to visit me a lot. This is all the, the notes they wrote me for for um, workshop. Riley trying on my point shoes. She wasn't on point yet. That's a no-no. Um, here we go. Here's our workshop. So this year, like I told you in the part two video of uh, Once Upon a Point SAB, um, was Chris Wilden's Send a Ballet and Bore Fantasque, which is this costume. Um, ticket stubs. <laughs> so this is my Ween Award check. I don't know if there's any personal information here. I'm not going to show you that. But this is uh, when I won the Ween Award. And then here is the, here we go, male Ween Award, Catherine Morgan, David Protus, Anthony Huxley. Anthony's the principal now. Um, yep, here's our little bios. Here's the workshop program. Here we go. I was not sent to ballet this night, Miss Tabitha, but actually, no, I did the opposite. This is when I did the opposite because she went out. So I had to, I think, remember in that video I told you I had to, this is the ballet on the mirror. I'll show you photos in a minute. But I had to reverse it every night. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and Bore Fantastic. Here we go. Catherine Morgan, Justin Peck. There we are, right there. And so that's just the program you get every workshop. Um, my mom even saved the benefit stuff. That's funny. I really hope there's not a glare. Okay, um, and then more summer course stuff. This is David on the promotional, and that's Lauren Lovett on the promotional stuff. There we are. Um, myself, David, Tabitha, and Anthony. Um, I guess just little things I was mentioned in. Ooh, another Teen Vogue thing. So let me show you workshop pictures of year two. So here we have the brochure again. Um, not the brochure, the program. Here's winning the Ween Award. I knew I had these somewhere. Peter K. Marjorie Vandercook. I think she was the executive director of the school. I can't remember. But we got little Tiffany plates. Um, there we are. Peter giving me the award with K. Um, here we are with Peter and K again. David, Tabitha, Anthony. Here we are with the Ween family. That's the Ween Awards. We've got. There's Darcy. Beautiful picture of Darcy. Um, here we are. We look a little bit. Well, what's really hard about this is there's Darcy. We get the award before the show starts. So I was until third ballet. So I literally had to put the costume on, take the costume off, <laughs> put it back on. Um, and it's so hard because you're not quite warm yet. Um, it's just funny. Lots of ween, lots of ween pictures. Look, look at this eye makeup we have going on here. I'm not sure what exactly is happening there. Okay, so here's Send to Ballet. Chris Wielden's ballet, again, that's on the diagonal. Mirror people, reality people, and everybody's the reflection. This is Jerome again, Jerome Tisserand, who's PMB principal. Um, there's the little girl watching us. Um, oh, there we go. See, we just look, a, I look a little more refined my second year. Toes are fully pointed, arms are fully stretched. I like to be able to see the difference that, okay, I did actually improve. <laughs> um, Jerome and myself, he's such a baby, we're both such babies there. See, like, over the, we're over the box, we're winging the foot. Stuff looks better year two. There's Justin. This was me doing the mirror image because Justin, I don't think I ever actually did the pot de dough with him, but this was me doing the opposite side, which was so confusing. But that's Justin Peck. Here we are in Bore Fantasque. This was more my element, much more lyrical. Um, this, yeah, there's Justin. There's Justin. Justin again. See, planche is going a little higher <laughs> than last year. Um, I like that picture. That's a good one too. This one I've posted before during places. Um, ironically, Justin and I facially look almost the same as we do in these pictures, and this is over 10 years ago. Literally, we look almost the same. I don't know. We just have those faces, I guess, that make us look like children. Um, anyway, Roy, Justin's a fabulous partner, which was so nice because I didn't have to worry about anything. Um, that is supposed to be on flat. I remember that. Um, these are Freed, Freed Classics, I think. I think you had to wear Freed, so... Ooh, relax the neck. That's a nice picture. I loved this costume too. It was like this gray and then 
black over blue. It was really pretty. Um, and it was, it was, it was funny because all the core girls are tall in second movement. And I was literally like a good six inches shorter than everybody else. Um, just, it's really flowy, really pretty. Um, long pas de deux, though. It's really long pas de deux, if I remember correctly. Um, but I was with Justin, so, you know, who okay. cares? <laughs> I love this picture of Justin. Everybody else is looking this way, and he's like, hey! <laughs> um, who is this? That's, I think that's Lola Cooper. Um, Lola Cooper and Tabitha, again, and myself. Um, it's hard to get everybody to jeté at the same time, but we did pretty well. Um, here we are again. That's pretty good. It's, it's a fun piece. Look, we're having, look, you can see our faces. We're like having the time of our life here. Who else would you know? Puanani Brown. She was with City Valley for a while, then went to ABT. Uh, I think that's Josh Thew. He was with City Valley for a while. So just lots of people. I had a great, great class that year. And there's the end. There's the final pose. And there's this thing again. So yeah, those are the albums. So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. We will pick up the Once Upon a Point again soon. Um, probably will continue with more company stories next. Uh, so if there's any other stories you want to hear, leave me a comment in the box below. If you missed my video on adagio work and how to really improve your adagio work, it's right down there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon.